Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. I'm going to take you over now to see the project we're going to be working on today. Today we're going to be making a top for this filing cabinet. It should be an easy enough build. We just need to measure our dimensions and match up screws or bolts to fasten it to the top. So if you're ready, let's get into it. So it's 15 and a quarter by 23 inches, but we might extend that a bit more just so it has a bit of an overhang. I think that would look nice. So let's go pick out a board. Okay, so we're out here in the workshop and the first thing I'm going to be doing is measuring the boards to the right length. I'll be using our measurements that we took when we were inside of the filing cabinet and applying those. I'm measuring the boards now to the length that I want them and using a square to make sure the lines are nice and straight. I'm going to connect three boards here to get the width that I want. I made sure that they mesh together nicely before moving on to cutting them to the right length. I stack the boards on top of each other before cutting them. This keeps the board a uniform size and also saves some time. Unfortunately on this cut, I didn't push the saw all the way back, so I missed the bottom board. That's okay though, I'll just run it through again. Here I use a thickness planer to even out the boards and make sanding easier. I'm only showing a fraction of the work I did in this stage because I want to keep the video short and interesting. Here's a shot of the wood before and after being planed. You can really see the difference it makes. Here I am measuring where I will be drilling holes to insert dowel pegs to support and connect the boards. Now I'm drilling the holes. I'm actually just making the holes bigger here because I had already drilled the holes, but they were a bit too small. Looks like it fits. Next I apply wood glue all over the boards. I make sure to get it in the holes I drilled. Then I add the dowel pegs and connect the boards with a little help. I could have set up my frame a bit better here, but I've just added a bit more glue to the other side and repeated the process. Next, I use a mallet to make sure they're nice and snug. Then I clamp them tightly and leave them for 24 hours while the glue dries. The next day, I start by measuring where to cut to remove the corners for a rounded edge and a softer look. I'm measuring about an inch out from the corner and then connecting the marks. I'll be making the cuts with an oscillating multi-tool with a wood cutting attachment. This tool is so versatile. I really enjoy working with it and I'd highly recommend it. As you can see, there are some sections where the wood didn't line up when I was connecting it. I'm going to smooth these out using a hand sander with a rough grit sandpaper. I will also use this to round out the corners and give the rest of the piece a nice smooth finish. To measure, I put a large paper over the filing cabinet lined up with the back and drew where the holes were for the screws. This is an easy way to make sure the holes line up without measuring. I make sure it's centered evenly and tape it down before I start pre-drilling. Pre-drilling helps to prevent the wood from splitting, which is especially important in a piece that's almost finished and has had a lot of time invested in it like this one. I've decided to use an ebony stain to match with the decor in the room with the filing cabinet. I really love how rich this color is, as well as the fact that the natural wood grain is still showing through. Next, I'm going to let this dry thoroughly. Then I'll add the hardware and add a clear coat to protect the finish. Before I check the screws, I just checked their size against the size of the fittings on the filing cabinet, and they worked great! Adding varnish is always a fun step. I like how it starts out blue, 
but don't worry, it dries clear. So here we are back inside. As you can see, we've got our piece centered here on the filing cabinet. We're just gonna snug it in nice and tight and then we can decorate. There you go. I really like how this turned out. Thank you for watching and if you wanna see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button and the notification bell and you'll get notified of new content when it comes out. Have a great day. Bye.